I had a little haircut because it was getting a bit stupid. Probably need to trim my face as well. Wow. Yeah, that'll do. So, as I've said before, there's loads you can do to help out the Labour Party and defeat the Tories, like leafleting or phone canvassing or data entry or envelope stuffing, any number of things. Whatever your skills are, you'll be so valuable. But if you do get into conversation with people, either door knocking or maybe on, on the phones, it's really good to have a few little tidbits to talk to people about. So, I thought I'd just run down a few simple points you can make. Number one. First one's a massive one, it's the NHS. People love it, it's often cited as a reason that people are proud to be British. And the Tories have consistently underfunded it. And then we saw what happened just with the, the winter crisis just gone. There were reports that there were nurses and midwives having to use food banks because of in-work poverty in the NHS. And so Labour will properly fund the NHS and will end pay caps for nurses and midwives. Number two, uh, people like to know, obviously, where's this money coming from? Why aren't the Tories taking enough money in tax? They brought the, the top rate of tax down from 50% down to 45%. They've made cuts to inheritance tax. So they're literally not taking as much money in, whilst then also cutting back on public services, which help everyone. They only care about rich people. So by cracking down on individual and corporate tax dodgers, the Labour Party are pledging to fund a national investment bank. We get properly sustainable funded businesses investing in things like green energy and building homes because there's a housing crisis. So by funding these kind of projects, they're looking to create one million jobs. And by funding things like green energy, where there's so much potential for growth already, it also means we can reduce people's household bills, which is great. It means we get to take back a little bit of control from the big six energy companies. So it's win-win. Number three. So Labour are looking to build one million affordable new homes. This will be funded through the National Investment Bank that I just mentioned. I don't know about you, but I have been living precariously for years in uh, loads of different rented accommodations that were often just rubbish. And being a property guardian where you can be kicked out with two weeks notice. This is not a good time to be a tenant or looking for a home. So increasing the supply of affordable housing is massive and it should be music to the ears of young people. The Labour Party are also pledging to tackle dodgy landlords, of which I'm sure we've all had at least one, by increasing tenants' rights. Number four, we're gonna have four new bank holidays under Labour. We have the lowest number of bank holidays in the G7. China has more bank holidays than us and it will be a boost to the economy because people spend more money in bank holidays like going out and drinking beer and do well, doing loads of things. They can do whatever they want. It's their holiday. Five, introducing a national education service which will provide not only free education to all, but also universal childcare, which will mean that more women can enter the labor market if they want to, or men. And it will also provide adult skills training and guarantee quality apprenticeships. I've only got one hand, so it's kind of hard to do. That's six. Renationalize the railways incredibly popular policy because uh, everyone hates train operators and everyone hates the ticket prices as well so done thank you number seven obviously you'll need to focus on local issues those will be the most important to people but it will be way easier to implement much better local policies if we have a labor government nationally if you've seen my last video apart from with one caller talking about local issues is really really good it's really useful for getting people on side so highly recommend that it's going to take a massive effort but loads of normal people are already getting involved to try and make that little bit of difference so if you've got any time at all that'll be massive bloody legends bye